Hey, so you want a cheap motorcycle? You spend a lot of time fixing it. This is the Honda CD 90s. Uh, it's barely run. Sometimes running, most of the time, it's warm. It's leak oil and rust. And well, anything bad that you can think of. Well, at least it's fun to ride. Well, if it can run. This is my childhood favorite. So I will try to restore it to the, its uh, former glory. Dangerous when driving on the road. Oh my god. So I order a lot of spare up, a lot of uh, chemicals to uh, conducting the job, and I finally can get it running. Then I take it for a test. Something is very dangerous happening. Shit. But is it now dangerous? I mean, something wrong with the throttle. Like, you see the throttle. This. Turning right is okay, but turning left is just. So I immediately go back home to verify the problems. The throttle problem, as you can see. Turning left, the bike suddenly have the urge to accelerate. So I found those cheap cable on the internet. Turn out they the cheap like five or six dollars for all of them. Like the throttle cables, the brake cables, the speed method cables. But uh, I only need the throttle cable for the job, so the own cable create a very bad response, even worse when turning. This makes out a lot of risk while driving on the road. So I start by removing the left handles by unscrewing the upper part. This is so easy to do. Uh, you can see the amount of dust and yeast uh, on the handles collecting from 1998. So after that, I removed the lower back of the cables, which is connected to the carburetors. What do you call a car without a few injections? A carburetor. <coughs> so anyway, the process is easy. Make sure you don't damage the spring. So I reinstalled the, the cap on the carburetor to avoid losing it. Then I unscrew the whole cable out of the uh, handles by rotating the cables. Try not to scrap the bike uh, while doing so. So I unscrew the cables and oh man, I think this is far too soft. I believe the previous owner have some spare cable from other Honda motorcycles and so he just used it on this uh, CD90s 
This is obviously not the original. You can see the, the new cable that I bought for is uh, much longer. So I believe it will solve this uh, problem. I clean the handle by using some cow wax chemicals and this is easy to buy and, and the results is came out nicely. Then I reinstall the cables, I screw in the upper part, then I carefully work uh, all the wire in. And it's just a reverse process uh, from the beginning. So I will talk about a little bit background of this motorcycle. And so I bought it from uh, an old farmer, he used this bike a lot. And he actually very enjoyed driving it, so he kept using it, using it. Uh, through the day and then one day he finally get a new ride so he left it forgotten then one day I decided to buy it from him uh, for like $200 this is extremely cheap so and also I know this value of the bike uh, see the Honda CD90 is, is fully made in Japan so you can call it uh, a JDM because this is the whole motorcycle is fully assembled in uh, Japan so I think so to me and uh, other people in my country appreciate the, uh, the quality of the Japanese craftsmanship. So this bike will be increased its value over time. So I think it's worth the try to storing it to good condition. And so maybe, maybe I can sell it for a good price uh, in the future. Then I assemble the spring, the cap, and a few needles. Now this is why I enjoy working on the carbureted uh, motorcycle and car. In the carburetor, it looks complicated, but it's not. It's, it's quite easy to understand. You just need to learn uh, bit by bit, and so once you are familiar with the uh, the carburetor you will find it extremely easy to fix rather than to have a fuel injection system which you might need to use the computer to calculate the fuel and air ratio for the carburetor one and you just need a screw to adjust the air and fuel mixture I screw in the cap to the carburetor and and that's it and don't forget to tie the, the cap Uh, and the upper screw. I readjust the throttle plate. In my experience, tell me that is one to three millimeters is okay for most uh, motorcycles. So I really hope that I can get this problem fixed. Eh? no more acceleration problem when I turn it left so it's quite easy to fix so the dangerous problem like this can be easily fixed uh, and not cost a lot of money so I reinstalled the rubber boot and now I take it for the best ride. The throttle feels much better than before. I mean, it feels so responsive. That makes the bike feel much enjoyable to ride. So, next time I will show you the uh, process of me working on this Honda CT90 uh, to get it look presentable and hopefully will increase some of its value. Anyway, thanks for watching and we end the video. Yeah. 